There's a lot of bullet holes here. Yes, ma'am. There are quite a few. This this gentleman was not here for coffee. Banging on the door, someone trying to force themselves into this Westland home on Ackley Street. That's what the family of 28-year-old Joey Nelson says caused the active Marine to react. My son is where he was supposed to be inside his home with his legally owned firearm. Friday night, Nelson's family says Joey Nelson had been inside with his fiance, their three-week-old son, and a couple of friends when... Somebody started violently knocking on the door trying to get in. The man outside, Westland police say, 39-year-old Michael Wilson of Detroit. Who was this guy? I don't know him. My son doesn't know him. Uh, the owner of the home does not know him. Cracking the door frame, Nelson's family says Joey grabbed his gun yelling for the man to leave. He opened up the door because he was standing out here in the yard. He told him to get off his property. And at that time, the other man produced a gun and started shooting at my son. Nelson's family says the young Marine was shot in the hip before calling 911 and telling everyone to get downstairs. Nelson firing back at Wilson, who they say took off as police arrived. When the detective showed up, he was um, not happy that he had been interrupted in the middle of the night. Uh, several people that were in the house said he reeked uh, obnoxiously of alcohol. Westland police say that's not true, adding that a fight over a mutual female friend who was inside the home led to the shooting. Nelson now charged with several felonies, including assault with intent to murder. Although Joey Nelson is charged with several felonies, Michael Wilson is only charged with carrying a concealed weapon. This man out here in the front yard fired multiple shots into a home with five people and a three week old baby, and he's got a simple one charge of carrying a Concealed weapon illegally. Also charged, 24 year old Corey Wilhite of Garden City for disguising her identity to a police officer and possession of improper prescription drugs. Now, as Nelson sits in jail on a $150,000 cash bond, his family says they don't understand why he's being charged at all. He should be hailed as a hero for defending his family. In Westland, Erica Erickson, Fox 2 News.